am so happy. Can anybody guess why I am so happy? I'm so happy because after 10 years of having to hear about this Mayan apocalypse, it's finally over. It's December 21st, 2012, and if you're watching this, you're probably still alive because nothing happened. I'm here today to talk about Solstice and Yule, but first, I just want to say how happy I am that this day is over and I will no longer have to hear people freaking out. I never have to see those Discovery Channel specials again. I never have to see Doomsday Preppers again. I'm so excited, this is the best Yule ever. Okay, moment's over. Let's focus. Today I wanted to talk about the Winter Solstice and not the Mayan apocalypse that never was an apocalypse and never was predicted to be an apocalypse. First, happy solstice, happy Yule. I hope you all have a great day. It's raining here. It was supposed to snow. As you can see, I have a tree. It is a Yule tree, not a Christmas tree. I have it decorated with lights and I have snowflakes. And we have owls and foxes, because those are our totem animals. We have pine cones. Okay, now briefly, I didn't get to give you guys a solstice video last year, because the laptop kept getting all wonky. Very briefly, the, the, the Christmas tree that everybody knows and loves, and like holly and ivy and mistletoe and reeds, all these symbols of Christmas, at least the secular Christmas, obviously has nothing to do with Jesus Christ or his birth, or anything, much like Easter eggs and bunnies on Easter, etc, etc. What do these have to do with anything? It's, it's, it's a dead tree in my living room. Hmm. Well, the evergreen tree, as we all know, is evergreen. It never dies. It lasts through the winter, when all the other trees, the deciduous trees, are dead. That alone makes it kind of special, especially if you're a Celt, or a Druid, or a Scandinavian, Germanic tribesman, it was used as a symbol of deity, it, eternal, you know, eternity, um, the sacred. Of course, the Druids are very, very, they're you know, tree people. I just lost the word, so tree people it is. <laughs> um, it was decorated. Um, I read that the Druids, the Celts, would decorate the tree with things that they were trying to manifest for the, the coming year, like seeds for maybe fertility or a good planting season, I suppose. Uh, charms, you know, for love and stuff. Um, the, German the Scandinavian tribes I read, they would bring the tree into their homes to kind of be make it a festive atmosphere while, you know, cold winter, I guess, if you, I'm trying to put myself in this scenario. Cold winter is going on outside. I mean, we take for granted our electricity and our heating and you know, all of our modern comforts, but I'm putting myself in this, in this kind of scenario, cold, wet, nasty, dry, snowy winters going on outside, it brings warmth and festive, you know, the festive atmosphere in, especially when you're marking the winter solstice. At that point, of course, the sun is at its weakest point. It can only get bigger and brighter from here. The days will start to get warmer. The sun is taking back its dominance in the sky. Of course, the opposite is the summer solstice. The sun is at its highest peak and it's going to get gradually weaker and weaker until today. Voila, here we go. So, some ideas or symbols of today. Colors. We're used to seeing red and green associated with Christmas. Same with Yule. Green. It's evergreen trees. Red and green, holly, ivy, etc. Um, also blues, silvers, whites. I think of snow being white, but I'm also thinking of blue, winter, it's a winter color, it's cold. It's, I don't know if, if any of you are familiar with Catholicism, blue is associated with the Virgin Mary. When I think of blue, I think of purity, I think of, you know, it's a royal color, divine color. Of course, Virgin Mary was a divine being, and she was also pure. So I'm thinking purity, I'm also thinking cold weather, uh, it's a very royal color, silver, 
silver bells. I mean, it's all it's all the same. It can be, it, it can definitely be used for both Christmas and Yule. Uh, silver is also the color for the divine feminine, but I'm also thinking gold could probably work too. Gold, which is the divine masculine color. It's very brief. It's, it doesn't take long to explain the solstice. Um, I'll just give you uh, what. How do you celebrate the solstice or Yule or both? Um, well, you have a you have fire, and you have a Yule log. And with that, my group that I'll be seeing tonight, what we'll do? Maybe not tonight, but we've had a Yule log before, and what we've done is we've tied our wishes and prayers on you know pieces of paper, tied that to the Yule log. And then we burn the Yule log, and all those papers and everything get burned and goes up into the atmosphere. After the Yule, after the log is totally burned, what we'll have left is like just like the charcoal remains of the log. Everybody gets a piece of it, and we hold on to it all year. And at the very next Yule, you'll bring back those pieces and burn it with the new log. Just simple traditions like that. Excuse me. Tonight we'll also be having a potluck dinner. We'll be celebrating more. The solstice tonight. We're doing more of a solstice celebration than a Yuletide celebration. Um, we're honoring the turning of the wheel of the year. We're coming. It's, it, we're in Massachusetts, not Ireland or, or Germany. So the weather, the seasons are a little bit different because they're at a higher altitude, of course. So we're just coming into winter. And it's 50 degrees outside and I'm so pissed off. I wanted snow so bad. <laughs> well, we're welcoming in winter. We're going to be praying for health because it's flu season, of course, and our ancestors, this has been a really lean time. You have to rely on your crops and the animals you can hunt. So we're going to be kind of remembering that, too. This is a time of year where we're lucky to have food. Instead of winter, we're so lucky to have food. We're so lucky to have warmth. It's kind of almost like a, an, a day of thanks as well. Thank you to the sun. Thank you for giving us warmth, and thank you for heat and food. <laughs> so it's kind of your modern solstice, I suppose. Instead of saying, please let us get to the winter, we don't have enough food, or please let us not catch a plague, we're saying we are so grateful to have heating, and to have homes like this, and to have plenty of food, and to have medicine. <laughs> so I hope... It's, it's, it's a short video. I wasn't intending it to be terribly long. I hope you all have a great solstice. And um, I'm telling everybody this seriously. Be careful tonight. You don't know who, what kind of crazy people are going to be out tonight. Because it's still the Mayan Apocalypse Day. Uh, please have a good night. Please celebrate responsibly. And I will see y'all later.